as the forces within the volcano built up to, uh, to the point where they would begin to overcome the friction forces holding the flank in place. The flank would begin to move towards the sea. And then at some point, the rock will fail on a major scale. And this huge chunk of rock, maybe 20 kilometers long or, or more, will start to slide into the sea. The waves initially here would be many hundreds of meters high, and those waves would all be moving out into the ocean, spreading out laterally, but with a lot of the energy heading across the Atlantic towards the coast of the Americas. Looking down on it, it'll, it'll look unbelievable. It'll look as if the island is falling apart, generating these huge waves which are fanning outwards to reach the eastern coast of the United States. The waves will take about eight hours to travel between here and the coast of America. Just enough time to get the message out, to warn people that this event was, was happening. But unless evacuation plans were incredibly efficient, it would not be enough time to get everybody out of the affected areas. The areas at risk include cities like Miami, parts of Boston, the coastal areas and suburbs of New York. We're standing on the beach in what is presently Miami. The very first effect you'd probably see is what we call a drawback. The ocean would suddenly just pull away. You'd see a tide, a low tide like you've never seen before in your life. It would be actually spellbinding. But in the background, you'd be seeing this wall and it would keep, keep coming at you. This will be the biggest natural catastrophe in history. There's a problem with all major natural catastrophes. Because we've never experienced these things, we don't think that they're going to happen to us. We just ignore them. But these sorts of events have occurred throughout geological history. They're not going to stop happening just because we're around. <laughs> 